those who might actually celebrate and go out and do something with your friend or significant other. I'm not. <laughs> but we did have a cute little class activity at school for Valentine's Day at his pre-K. So that was fun and adorable. So yeah, that was our big Valentine's Day plans. Um, if you're new, I'm Lizzie. Thank you for joining me. And I'm so excited because as you could tell by the thumbnail, I got the Easter candles today, Valentine's Day, even though this video will probably go up tomorrow, um, for the buy one, get one deal that's ending today. So that was like, so exciting for me because my store usually does not put out the releases early. They, you know, wait till they're supposed to. And I really just hate asking them for like to get the new releases or anything for me in the back. I really don't ask them that. Um, so I was going to store today because I knew it was the last day for the buy one, get one. And I was like, maybe we'll just see if they're out and trying to like hype myself up to like if the manager was there who you know they all know me pretty much but the manager was there and uh she's cool with me um see if they would try and get them from the back for me even though I really didn't want to ask but I was like going to I was just like it can't hurt to ask um and I had a bopus to pick up anyway so I get to my store it's like empty and I'm just like looking around and I didn't even have to ask because they were right there in the center display, all the Easter stuff that you can imagine. And I was just so excited. I was like, yes, I get to do the buy one, get one. Um, I didn't have a coupon, but that's okay. I was like so hyped. And then they weren't ringing up correctly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, mm, the, Easter candles weren't ringing up because I think she said, oh, yeah, we did put them out like a day earlier than they were supposed to. So they um, aren't technically for the buy one, get one sale. Um, and I ended up paying more than I should have. Technically, I'm not, you know, going to complain about it because I wasn't going to be like, oh, then I'll put these back um, because the buy one get one pretty much just cuts all the candles in half it rings up where um you know the more expensive like the easter carrot cake candle which is 32.95 would give me i pay for one and then i would get if i got two the second next highest price one free um but because they weren't ringing up correctly she and the other sales associate were just like okay, well, we're just going to ring up the more expensive ones and then you would get the lesser expensive ones free. So technically, I paid more than, you know, I should have probably like 11 or $12. I was not going to complain. I was just excited to see them and just wanted to get them during this deal. And, you know, maybe we'll have a better candle sale this weekend. I don't know. I'm surprised if we would because we just had the buy one, get one. So if they gave us like a $12.95, I would be really surprised. Um, so I'm expecting it just to be like a $10 off, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe they will. Um, so that's, that kind of was like, oh, of course something has to go wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm surprised they even had them out. Like I said, a day early. So sweet carrot cake. I like this dark navy matte packaging with the label. I think the label is really sweet. I think it's uh, definitely better than some previous years when it was like that ugly Easter bunny cartoon thing. Um, I'm a sucker for the lid. I love that they did the bunny imprint and then like the floral uh, motif. Um, and it does stick actually. It's not one of those that like feels loose and it's going to fall off, but yeah, this is sweet cream cheese, frosting, fluffy carrot cake, cinnamon spice, $42.95. Um, after smelling, uh, Kringle candles, carrot cake, this is definitely like not <laughs> as good in comparison. This is like not as strong, more of the cream cheese note than the spice that I get from Kringle. So it just depends on your preference, but I could not help the packaging. So 
before I knew that these weren't going to ring up correctly, I got two of them because I was like, yeah, they always do, you know, the higher one and then you get the next higher price one free. So I might as well get two. And that didn't work out in my favor, but that's okay. So here is my second one. And you got to kind of look, some of these are scuffed. Um, but got that. And I love this packaging. I just, I'm a fan. The Happy Easter, which is Daffodil Daydreams. And I just think the florals and butterfly and the bunny is just so adorable. And I love it. I love the like busy print and the mint green lid. Love it. Uh, Daffodil Daydreams is whipped marshmallow pastel clouds sweet daffodil. And these are $26.95. And it's really interesting. It's kind of powdery, but you get like the cinnamon marshmallowy note. Yeah, I mean, I maybe there's a floor roll in there, but you really do get that cinnamon marshmallow to make it like more of a sweet gourmand almost. But yeah, I think that's a really interesting scent and something new from them rather than, you know, your tutti fruity candy that comes out every year and um so I was excited to see this and try it so I ended up getting three of them because at first I was getting two and then I was like when I got more of my crates I was like oh I need one more and the other ones I really didn't want another one of so I was like I'll get three of these um and then I don't know what they're calling this collection but the gourmand collection Paris Cafe super excited to see them release this besides the uh, candle day release and the core white barn packaging so I thought this was so cute with the pictures of like the um, French press and and little coffee there rich roasted coffee sugar brioche vanilla creme these are $24.95 so basically they gave all of these candles next free so that's why I ended up paying a little bit more than I probably should have um, <laughs> so of course it's just Paris Cafe, just exactly how it's always been, and it's beautiful and rich and delicious. And I was tempted to get two, but I have the white barn ones, and I was like, I'll just wait for hopefully a better deal and get more of this packaging, possibly. Main Street Bakery, very excited to try this one. Fresh banana, vanilla wafer, cinnamon sugar. Uh, Everybody says it's like, yeah, banana pudding. I mean, I get like the creaminess, but to me, the banana is just like the same banana from banana nut muffin. I mean, I guess maybe a little bit more of that vanilla cookie cake note comes through. But it smells good. I like banana scents, but they all sort of do tend to run the same to me in the in my nose um but yeah you do pick up the vanilla creaminess like vanilla wafers but um I don't know if I would really say it's that much different but you know I'm happy they did decide to release a banana fragrance in the gourmands with this adorable packaging so I picked up two of those and last is the cherry blossom pound cake I love the colored wax. Cherry Blossom Whip Pound Cake Vanilla Frosting. I don't think it's Japanese Cherry Blossom. I think I do get like, like a juicy cherry, but also that floral powdery perfumey scent. So it's not like straight cherry, Japanese Cherry Blossom. I don't get like cake gourmand. I get like fruity, juicy cherry with that like perfumey kind of note but um it's interesting I think you know they're trying to be a little bit different outside of the box with the gourmand and so I picked up two of these just to have as well so yes wasn't planning on getting this many but kind of went overboard when I just saw them and it was the last day for the buy one, get one. And little did I know that they were going to ring up. Not correct. Um, and then I used a reward. And of course, I pick one with a bubble in the label. <laughs> I did pick up a single wick of the Tutti Fruity candy just because I like 
pretty simplistic label there, kind of matching the Daffodil Daydream and the pink wax. And now that these are reward eligible, so I got one sweet jelly beans, mixed berry, sugared lemon. Yep, same fruity berry, sugar, sweet candy note. But used a reward on that. And I could not help myself. I had to get this cute little bunny bag. It was just too adorable with the little ears. Look at that. Um, and this was $7.95. So, yeah. You got to look at them, though, because some of them had, like, scuff marks or marks on them. So I had to, like, dig through to find one that was clean and not stained. So it was about $12, $13 more. Okay, I'm letting it go for real. So my bow piss... I picked up two shower gels um, with my double dipped rewards, Tropidelic and Sweet Kiwi Starfruit. So I got those shower gels. And I decided to back up Backyard Honeysuckle just because I don't know if they'll come back out with this scent again. And I just love this bee packaging. So I got another one of these. Sweet Honeysuckle Orange Flower Blossom Neroli Nectar. I only picked up one before, but I like to have a couple of the signature scents. So another Clipso Clementine. Juicy Clementine Neroli Nectar Coastal Woods. And my two online orders arrived. The only reason I placed this order was because one, it was that spend, I forget. It was that get a free fine fragrance mist with any order or a certain limit or something. Um, and this fine fragrance mist was online only. And the online orders were spend 50, you get free shipping. So I was like, might as well, cause it's the buy one, get one candle deal. I could get that online exclusive fine fragrance mist free and get free shipping. <laughs> so it's the Rio, which is pineapple mango and I love that holographic packaging, and I don't believe this was a body care before. Fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine, rape, and raspberry. I don't know why they made this online exclusive, but got that. And since I was placing that order, I used a reward for the shower gel as well. And so I ordered for the buy one, get one, were strawberry daiquiri, which is not a new scent. It is frozen strawberry, sweet, simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, zesty citrus, twist. I'm usually not a strawberry fan because they always smell like plasticky and artificial, but I love this scent. And look at that pink wax. Yeah, it's just like a nice, fresh, juicy strawberry with that tropical drink vibe. Got this one because it was not showing up as Bopis in my store anymore. I don't know. It might be somewhere in my store. I just didn't see it or look. Another almond croissant before it goes away. Toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, flaky croissant. Decided to get another of Yumi in the Sea just because I really like this scent, which is blue orchid, fresh eucalyptus, salt water. And then last for this order, because this wasn't also... Um, this wasn't showing as Bopis either in my store, so I don't know if they got it or not. Hibiscus Waterfalls, and this is Tropical Hibiscus Sweet Peach Nectar Fresh Waterfall Mist. Oh, look at that gorgeous purple wax. That's awesome. Very floral, but also water, aquatic note. Um, yeah. Before I had placed that order, this was my online order for... Saturday with the limited edition candles. I actually didn't even notice them in store, so maybe they did sell them all during uh, the sale this week. So these, just in case my store didn't have those or as many in, in stock and I didn't want to clear them out. Also, by the way, today my store still had 75% off candles, so they did not get uh, them emptied over the weekend. Um, there was like four Happy Hanukkahs, three Cocoa Roasted Chestnuts, three Twisted Peppermint, and a Candy Emporium. So I almost got more, but I didn't because I didn't have my 20% off coupon. Um, so I did pick up online exclusive since I was placing the online order. So this is an online exclusive Fresh Bamboo. Uh, very, very strong scent. I could already smell it like inside the box and this nice kind of neon green kiwi colored jar 
Sweet Bamboo Lush Jasmine Wild Grasses. Oh, so strong. Very, very strong. This one is also online exclusive White Lavender Eucalyptus in the pretty floral uh, motif. Crisp Eucalyptus Sweet Spearmint Leaves Soft Lavender. This lavender is very astringent. It's very sharp. So, not my favorite scent. And here is the pink gumball, which we all know how I feel about the packaging. This is an online exclusive, but I just decided to place it in this order because I needed another one um, to get the buy one, get one eucalyptus rain. So pretty. Uh, aromatic eucalyptus spearmint leaves fresh spring rain. Oh, that one is so much nicer than the eucalyptus and lavender. It's, um, you get more of the rain, kind of dewy green note than the eucalyptus, but still very good. This one was online exclusive, Rainforest Gardenia. I think they usually make that one online ex exclusive. Same with the fresh bamboo for some reason. Um, classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, white woods. All you get is the gardenia. You don't get any of the other notes. No apple, no bamboo. It's just very floral <laughs> and strong as well. The root beer float. Whew, that one is strong. Another root beer float. So I got four total um, online and in-store. Yeah. And also, that kind of smells like a little bit like smelly compared to the ones in store like I don't know and my other pink gumball so I got three of these total in store and online but that's it you guys thank you so much for watching my huge haul I normally don't like to do huge hauls like this over and over <laughs> right back to back but yeah the Easter candles did it for me um but I'm very happy it made my Valentine's Day the smallest, you know, smallest things. <laughs> um, so please subscribe if you haven't yet. That would mean a lot to me and also help with my Valentine's Day too. Have a great day, you guys. Take care. Bye.